Hey people, it's the Pilgrim, and I've got a couple of Titan builds to show you. Um, I've been playing around with like a design of a base that stays under the official platform structure limit. I thought that way you can have like crafting, electricity, beds, fridges, you know, all the good stuff that sort of makes it a real nomad base. Uh, the designer came up with uses dino doors for walls. Um, so that way I think you're only using like two structures instead of eight. This was my first attempt. It's a real PvE base. Um, I stuck the skulls on the front to give it sort of a tribal look. But I can do better for a PvE build, I think. I was still sort of thinking of having a large enclosed base that you could fit a few teams inside. Well, you know, as large as you could sort of get it on a Titan without mods anyway. This little extra level here just uh, lets you get onto the top deck. Um, this little building on top took me over the build limit, but uh, everything counts and I did have like fridges and other things in here before. This next one was a lot quicker. Um, I got the foundations nice and straight playing around with pillars and fence foundations uh, I'll show you how to do that in a bit I also used the hatch frames in the roof and that saved on more structure points as well um, I also found a way to make the hexagonal bit at the back a lot quicker and a lot easier and a few less resources and this is the final iteration of the design uh, I know it's kind of like a PvP box but it's versatile, uh, it's not going to get destroyed if you piss off an RG or a wavering. Uh, it's nice and secure, there's space for flyers inside. I have my own server on official settings and this didn't get anywhere near the build limit so there shouldn't be any problems building it, I hope. Right, the whole structure is metal, uh, except for wood fence foundations are used to help snap the dino doors into place and to get the angles on the back section. I uh, covered the whole front section with hatch frames this time and I also dropped the foundations right into the platform like I said before. Um, that should stop dinosaurs falling, falling you know, through the foundations on the platform, hopefully. And then inside we have miniguns. Check that out, it's like a PvP battleship on a Titan. Um, I left that section there open so you can access the Titan's inventory while you're inside stocking full of gear and you don't have to like waste space in um, the benches and stuff. I know the miniguns are a bit over the top but if you are in like a decent well, one of the mega tribes or something would be fun to build this thing just go running around the server pissing people off try to get this to sound like an e -tab. <laughs> I just love that sound man it's awesome I'm going to put some rockets in this one. I've sp sped the video up quite a lot by the way. There we go. Battle Titan. Oh, just finishing it off. But you get a general idea what this one's for. But like I said before as well, for PvE, it also was pretty awesome. Alright, get on with the build now, I'll show you how to get this foundation set up. Right, at the back of the platform you've got these two sections, these oblong sections in the centre. Basically the second one down, the one that's closest to you now, get a fire torch and put it exactly where I'm putting it now, it's like dead in the centre, gives you a good marker. Then you want to get a wooden fence foundation, line the back end up with this dark line you've got and the front up with the torch and that should get it dead centre for you. There you go. Then to the right you want to run another wooden fence foundation, an angle like that, get rid of the torch. One wooden pillar, 
one thatch ceiling and then what we need to do is snap another wooden fence foundation to the edge of that um, thatch roof the, the dodger they'll try and snap everywhere because you're on the Titan and it's moving and breathing right, snap a wooden pillar to that and then two more ceilings coming off and the wooden pillar in the center now this one is just a pain in the ass basically to get it to snap just persevere stick with it it, it will snap i mean when i built the other ones it, it was dead quick this one just didn't want to snap it's like getting the right distance and the right angle so now you've got them two snapped in place when you come to put the foundation down now it'll be at the right level and it'll be spun around the right way as well for something we've got to do later on and that should keep your foundations dead center and nice and straight it's about the best way i've found of doing it on, on the back of the platforms at the moment when you come up to this section now don't carry on snapping the foundations in because see how it drops it's because it still wants to snap to the the pillar at the end so I'll just get rid of all these now get them out of the way because if, if uh, one of the foundations snaps underneath the platform it's basically stuck there and it's just going to add to the um, item limit you've got there you go come out to the sides there so basically you've got uh, four wide six long then you're going to come out three at the sides like that and it's four down the center then this section here we need to put a metal pillar in and if the foundations weren't orientated the way they are that pillar just wouldn't snap there so that's another reason you got to do it that way um with this now you just want a couple of ceilings uh, this is where the wooden fence foundation is coming and you want to try and get them to snap like right on the edge uh, even if you've got a mess about or break and put them back in I was pretty lucky it snapped for me pretty much every time then one at an angle like that then you've got your thatch wall just so you don't waste resources and a metal wall underneath and that'll let you run the metal ceilings off at an angle this will basically create that half a hexagon we've got at the back and just carry that on if you keep the wooden fence foundations right on the edge um, it may just lets everything line up really nice You can see now with these walls, the walls just like slot together really well at the corners. But you've got to keep that wooden fence foundation on the outside of the ceiling. So you go, metal walls underneath and same again. Uh, I put some doors and windows in this bottom section. I thought I'd use it like gun ports. Um, but I, might, I ended up replacing them with metal walls later on. Just more secure really. And it saves on... Uh, extra structure limit as well putting windows and doors in everywhere you see a few of them even if you stood on the actual platform they just flick everywhere and it's every time the titan moves as well but like i said just stick with it some bits all on you but it's worth it so i can't believe how lucky i was when i just kept snapping right on the edge for me there we go and if you keep them fence foundations right on the edge all the way along this uh, this bit lines up perfect as well um, and yeah and then put some more walls and stuff in around the around the base of it so i was putting doors and windows in um just to give access and stuff like that but it's really not needed the whole base is made out of doors so here um basically that one pillar in the left hand corner is holding this whole section up this whole hexagonal section um i did find if you snapped a metal pillar in um at the corners it did help you know to hold it to the actual structure um so you could destroy that one down there and it still stay standing um other times depending on how high the actual metal pillar was if you destroyed that one pillar the whole lot of collapse so i just wanted to stick you know a couple of extras in just to double check that it was actually secured to the structure but that should be cool go fill them walls in and that's that section done now we can stick the dyno doors in uh, same again wooden fence foundation 
Um, doesn't matter if it's on the edge, it's actually better if it's in, in slightly, because it takes the door in slightly. That's all you need to do, just snap the metal dino doors to the to the fence foundation and you're sorted. You could put two more doors on the front here and save even more structures if you want. Um, I just put the walls in because I was going to put the skulls on the front again, I was still thinking about the old build. Here is just the section for basically where you're riding it because you're kind of out in the open there so I was going to build like just like a little steel hook going around it. Get back to that later. And um, we're just repeating what we did on the other side here just with them wooden fence foundations again. And it's just exactly the same idea on the hexagonal section as well. Just build them walls up there to fill in the gaps uh, four high. This one flipped round them. Uh, I did notice it, but I thought I'd leave it. Gives the door a different look. <laughs> So that's the basically the main structure built. Right, that's the main section done. Um, we can get the uh, the hatch frames on top now. This is dead easy. You just snap together. Just need six of them for this bit. And then two for the main section. You can snap them straight off the walls at the front. Yeah, the way it works, the ceiling's a bit off. But um, you can run walls along them bottom ones. And then stick the ceiling in there. And then you're going to run a door frame there anyway. So you can't really tell it overlaps. And stick another wall in. Then just cover the back up. It moved them when I went to snap it. I'd, I'd go back and fix that later on because it annoyed me. Can't have that one little section looking like that after the rest of it's worked so well. It glitched there and just threw me straight straight inside so I thought I'd uh, get this ceiling done. This is just like that smaller level. You can run um, some rope ladders up that to get onto the top deck. And I went back and fixed this. It kept trying to snap, I think it's trying to snap to the door frame instead of the um, ceiling from the other side. There's put a couple of metal ramps in either side, give it that sort of battleship look. And that is basically the whole thing done um yeah the interior is down to you guys really yeah, i managed to get some smithies in a uh, chem bench uh, generator some electricity so i could put fridges and things in there and there was space still for beds and stuff like that and like i said i, I didn't hit the build limit so you should be pretty good this here was was like a little simple thing literally just ran some um ceilings across the front snaps a couple of windows to it nothing too fancy and there you go you've got that nice big interior to play with Nero just thought the mini guns would be a nice touch to be honest especially the doors opening like that yeah, it's just a bit of fun putting these guns in here i mean it'd be cool going around causing a bit of mayhem with it but pretty sure a couple of guys with grappling hooks and c4 would ruin your day um, but yeah, for them big tribes that have got tons of resources and plenty of time to mess about, this would be a lot of fun. Uh, you could even stick on Brontos and then you can just sort of jump server and set them up and just run around. And there we go, that's the finished, the finished product.
uh, just painted it black and yellow. Uh, I was going to do it all black and red, like a sort of like a giant warning sign. But um, I'm going to have a play around with the paint job, and I'll throw a few pictures in at the end. Put some decor in it, and have a play around with the interior. Yeah, looks pretty good. I had another thought about this thing. Um, what I did was the see where the hatch frame is on the right hand side. I put ceilings in first, then snap the hatch frame to it and open the hatch frame up. Um, it gives the calicotherum a, a little bit of defence on its flanks. I was wondering if you put a bunch of um, Anthropora and them up there and put them on aggressive and turret mode, if you could just sort of walk around and they'd spit and just launch rocks off at everything. Uh, he's on aggressive now and he doesn't seem interested, he must be well too far out of range for what's on the floor. But you could al always stick a few of your tribe mates on there. Free ammo. Yeah, that idea sort of works. Line of sight's awful though, being at that height. In all honesty, you're on a Titan. One stamp will pretty much wipe anything out. Save on, save on all your ammo, really. That's just an awesome creature, anyway. Love the Titans. It's like it's got, that's got to be the only game that's had something that big and rideable. Ever. And that's it, all sorted guys, um, yeah, thanks a lot for watching, and I'll leave you a bunch of screenshots here, just to flick through, and um, see what else we can do with the build. Uh, other than that, yeah, check out the rest of the channel, uh, leave likes, subscribe, all that sort of stuff, YouTube like it when you promote your own channel. Right, thanks guys, catch you later.